Hi there, welcome to my channel Prime Maths. In this video, I am going to solve a problem from high school algebra course. The problem is simple to understand, and a little bit of critical thinking is required to solve it. Given to arithmetic progression, which you can see on your screen, one has to find that the number of common terms in this two progressions. If you want to give it a try, pause the video and give it a shot. The first brute force method is to write down the whole progression and see how many terms are common. But this is too cumbersome as the progression has 102 terms. Let's start solving. For the first progression, it is easy to see that the first term is 3 and the common difference is 4. Also, since the last term is given, we can find the number of terms easily using the formula of a general term. We see that it has 102 terms. Similarly for the second progression we write down the parameters and the number of terms. We see that both the progressions have 102 terms. Next, we will find the number of common terms. That is number of terms which are present in both the progression. To start, assume that the nth term of the first progression is equal to the mth term of the second progression. Equating the expression for these two, we get 4n plus 1 equals 7m. Now, we have to find the all possible solutions for n and m, such that the above equations is satisfied and none of n or m exceeds 102, since the total number of terms in both the progression is 102. Now with simple observation, we see that if n plus is 7 or n is 6, and m is 4, the equation is satisfied, along with the restrictions of n and m. So the sixth term of the first progression is same as the fourth term of the second progression. So far, we have obtained one solution of the equation. 4n plus 1 equals 7m, which corresponds to the one common term of the two progression. So the next question is, to obtain all possible solutions of the equation, which will give all the common terms. To do this, see that, for the solution already obtained, we just multiply both the signs with 2, to get, 4 times 14 equals, 7 times 8. Now comparing we get, n equals 13, and m equals 8. It is easy to check that indeed the 13th and the 8th term are equal. By now, you must have got the idea, as to find all the solutions of the equation, we can find all the solutions by multiplying the above equation with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. But at one point we will exceed the last term of the progression. To see where we need to stop, see that, if we multiply by 15 on both the sides, and by comparing we get n to be, 104, which crosses the last term, since we have in total 102 terms. But when we multiply with 14, and by comparing we get, n as 97 and m, as 56. That is. The 97th term of the first progression is equal with the 56th term of the second progression. So, in total we have 14 terms in common, as we obtained one solution, then starting from 2, to 14 we got the other solutions. If you find the video useful, don't forget to, hit like, share and subscribe. Any suggestion and comment will be welcomed. You can follow us on YouTube, Twitter. Instagram, and Facebook, at Prime Maths.